Hey guys, welcome to Creator Cast. So as you all know, Pink Super Moon is about to reveal itself on 7th and 8th of April in 2020, and so I am pretty sure a lot of you want to use their DSLRs or mirrorless cameras to shoot there. Now in today's video, I will tell you few important tips which you can use to shoot that. It can be pictures like, for example, this here and videos using even your kit lens or even if you have any other zoom lenses. Okay guys, so I've divided this video into three segments. The first segment tells you which lens I'm using, what focal range I'm using to shoot and so which lens and focal range you can use to shoot. The second part tells you that if you don't have a tripod, so how to get the best stable photo or video of the moon and also which application you should use to track the position or the movement of moon on your android or ios devices so you are prepared in advance and a third part tells you my custom settings or it tells you a reality of what settings i used to get the best results and what settings you can also use to get the best results so you can skip to these parts also independently i don't need a very big lens even a kit lens around 200 or 250 mm zoom range would be more than enough to get some good images now as you might be thinking that i am using a professional grade lens which might be true but you don't have to bother your kit lens will be more than enough in past i had sony 55 to 210 which was a kit lens and it shot pretty much good enough shots so i am sure that you will definitely get some good shots now lens keeping aside and this is just 200 mm you might have even 250 mm how to stabilize if you don't have a tripod so i will show you again what you need to do put both your elbows hunch back and put it very close to your eye i am trying to create a three point of stable stability so with the elbow and my eye i am trying to stabilize my camera and it creates a three point of stabilization which results in a greater way of shooting in terms of stability and while shooting you need to breathe in stop for a moment think of it as like shooting a gun because at very high uh, zoom range you need to be way more stable way more careful than at normal zoom ranges now before you start i would suggest you download few of the good apps for example one of the good app is sky view what it does is that you turn on your uh, let me show you for a second okay so what it does is that you can turn on your location settings your internet and then point anywhere in the sky with your internet connection on so it will show you the position of moon in fact other planets and even space station and lot more things stars and so you can predict the movement of the moon throughout i will show you in a moment so you just have to do open the app and point it towards the sky that's all you need to do and you will know where the moon will be at any given point of time it's almost accurate if not completely accurate now it's way too sunny so i will go down and finish my remaining of the video i think i was way too late to start this shoot in the morning now this is at iso 100 now if you are shooting at higher isos which is 400 or around 800 iso you can bump up your shutter speed like 1/400 of a second and f5.6 or f6.3 and then you can shoot handheld so this is if you want to keep your iso 100 okay so the best settings which i have seen if you have a tripod shoot at 100 of a second f5.6 iso 100 if you are shooting handheld I would suggest 1/400th of a second around 7-800 of ISO. I would suggest you experiment what ISO gives you the better results and f5.6, okay? f5.6 or f6.3 is good enough, I would say. There is a huge possibility that your camera will be able to focus on the moon since you are zoomed in. Try to use tap to focus or move your focus points on the moon so that camera knows where to focus and it will not hunt for focus. In case your camera is not able to focus use manual focus but be careful use zoom in feature to see if your focus is sharp or not and in case you are trying to shoot videos keep uh, moving your camera position from time to time because moon as we all know moves and so it will very soon be out of your frame so keep moving your camera 
keep adjusting your camera positions now what about video if you are shooting 4k video let's say 24 fps the shutter should be 1 50th of a second and here you should reduce your aperture value to maybe f8 f9 if the moon is too bright and keep your iso 100 what we don't want is to keep our moon shining like a bulb we want to see the filament of the bulb ever experimented on a bulb if you want to see the filament you have to tweak your settings a lot so here we don't want it to glow like a bulb we want to see the sharpness the craters on the moon i will show you in a second so guys these were the tips which you can use to shoot any kind of moon situations not just this uh, pink moon or blood moon or anything you can shoot any day any point of time okay guys so now on a departure note i would just like to say that don't wait for any specific day to shoot moon images you can get almost good images any day and in case you happen to shoot one i will link down my instagram please tag me i would love to see what you have and also if you happen to know some points which could help me or others improve please let us know in the comment section and if you have any questions ask me in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you in any way possible with that in mind whatever gear you have whatever day if it's a clear day if you want to shoot just go ahead and shoot it and with that see you guys happy shooting stay safe bye